All right, so it's 6.07, and we're going to start our morning run. And just to prove the time, I don't know if you can see that. 6.07, so let's get started. So we are here with Coach Schneer, the men's head track coach. Right. And so, Coach Schneer, were you once a student athlete? I was, uh, Ryan, but it's been a long time. Uh, it's 1963 to 1966. All right. How long have you been a coach? Uh, this is my 43rd year of coaching. 43rd. So, being a student athlete way back when, what did you find it hard to be a student and an athlete at the same time? Well, um, that's all I knew, so it didn't seem hard or easy. That's just what I did. And I think the same is true for most of you folks today. Uh, at that time, in the 1960s, and I also went to a Division three school, uh, which now Division three, uh, there wasn't the year-round commitment to mm -hmm. athletics that there is today. So there's been a, a shift in the emphasis on athletics and the expectation of a student-athlete from my time to this time. But, uh, in actuality, most of the things continue to be the same. All right. During uh, different events, like in track or cross country, how do you communicate with your athletes? Well, during the event, it's a lot more easy to communicate than often in practice. So, for instance, in practice, if we go on a road run, mm -hmm. uh, I watch them go out, and I might watch them come back, and that's all I see, and, and there's not much coaching going on or um, involvement on my part. All right, so we're here with Becca, who's part of the volleyball team. Why volleyball? Well, I really like volleyball. What position are you in volleyball? I'm the middle blocker position. And for most people, can you explain that? I do. <laughs> um, I'm in the middle of the court in the front row by the net. I run the blocking scheme, so I tell my fellow players in the front row, which is the two people on the outside pins of the net, um, how to block and stuff like that and what they need to do and then I hit a little bit. And for normal when you're in season, how many hours? Um, that will probably be about three hour practices every day during the week and then we travel. We usually have games Friday and Sunday so we'll travel or Saturday and Sunday so we'll travel on the weekends. How's your priorities go between school, social life and athletics? Social life is pretty much at an all-time low. So I really don't talk to anyone but my teammates because when I'm not in practice or sleeping, I'm usually doing schoolwork or going to class or traveling. So the priorities would probably be volleyball, then school, then social life. Okay, so this is the University of Cincinnati strength coach, Dave Andrews. I'm going to ask him some questions. Hey Dave, did being a college athlete prepare you well for the real world? Uh, being a college athlete, not only my upbringing, uh, growing up in, I guess, a farm community where uh, you're taught to work, uh, that obviously transferred uh, into college athletics. You know, being time efficient, uh, learning how to work with others um, in a team environment uh, absolutely prepares you for the real world. Uh, more or less, you know, you see a lot of kids with time management issues. They aren't busy. Uh, the athletes are special uh, because they can balance time and work with others uh, to get to a common goal. Um, what skills do you try to instill in the student athletes you deal with now? You know, I think you know. I talk to my kids all the time about attention to detail, which means uh, working on what you're trained, uh, what, what your trainer is coaching you up on. So, the attention to detail and hard work are the two main items I work on. Um, so, I either tell them uh, you're stupid. Or you don't care, one of the two. Um, so you know, for the most part, I keep keep trying to nail that in. Um, and, and you know, the kids do a great job once they understand what you're looking for. And now we're finishing up our run. We just did 4.37 miles, 30 minutes, 34 seconds. 